Hey everybody, what is up? Happy Thursday, and welcome to episode 2 of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda The Minish Cap for the Game Boy Advance. I am Doc Hikari, and uh, it's been, according to YouTube, like 9 months since I've played this game on Capture, and it's probably been 8 or 9 months since I've played the game in general. Uh, little, little change up, I remember that I have this 8-bit dough SN30 Pro, and um, it didn't really work well with one emulator, I had like iffy compatibility with it, but it seems to work really well with this one, so I'm gonna try it out. Tiny Link. So if I remember correctly, I have to make my way to the Elder and tell them that I retrieved the Earth Element. You retrieved the Earth Element from that fiend-infested shrine? Incredible! Humans are amazing creatures. The Elder is sure to be amazed, too. Well, so he's like the Elder's aide or something, I forget. But, um... The Elder is over at his hoos. His hoos! Oh, I accidentally pressed uh, fast forward. I gotta be careful of that. I shouldn't have set those buttons on the triggers. Okay, here he is. Oh, so you have found the Earth Element, hmm? You are blessed with much courage and strength for one so young. If your conviction holds strong, head to Mount Cronel. There you will find a man named Malari. Among all the Minish, there is no one more able to repair your sword. If you ask him, he will surely reforge the broken Picori blade. I shall send word to him adva in advance. Travel safely. You are brave, but there are many evils now in this world. Oh, he's going to get me something. I, I was trying to move, and he opened a new path for me. Well, that's ideal, because I wasn't sure which direction to go. Leap through this door here. It will take you out of the forest quickly. Great Elder! Elder, <laughs> we are in your debt! We shall head for Mount Crenel at once! The hat is right. Oh, there's a bed back here. I can't use it, but... Okay, continue to travel through the Minish Woods. Now, before I become big again, I see there's a stump to do so. There's also a little mushroom hut here, so let's speak to this little Minish dude. Green clothes and a mystical hat. Sir, would you by chance be Doc, the one who found the Earth Element? Surely you are. I have heard so many tales about you. I am Bilari. Well, I need Malari, researcher of antiquities. I am also, well, a bit of an inventor. You know, you won't be able to get back to town due to all the debris. Here. I have something that might come in handy. I'm happy I st stopped by here. I got a bomb bag! And it has ten bombs in it. Joy. <laughs> now you can blow up lots of stuff. And by you, I mean me! Okay, I press the R trigger to hop onto the magical stump. I don't... I think I can blow up the statues. I mean, it's, you know, worth investigating, but no, I don't believe that's a thing that you can do. Um, I spoke to it instead. Holder of the sacred powers, we grant you the power of wind. Oh, it just blows itself up. Hmm? Whoa! It, it blew up? Hey, kid! Look at where that stone used to be. There's some strange symbol on the ground. Yes, of course. Why, that must be. Well, I haven't the foggiest, to be honest. Hmm. This game is awesome. It does, it really cracks me up. It's just, it's really friendly and um, just fun. It's fun to play. I can definitely blow those rocks up. Yay, more bombs. 
fair trade. What's over her, exactly? I don't have a spin attack? I do not. Okay. Five rupees. I'm not gonna complain about that discovery. So I do see one of those, um... Mushrooms here that I'm- Oh, whoa! That- that almost went way wrong. There we go. I was just launched, uh, Link directly into the hole. Well now, I see there is definitely a path before me, um... I'm really curious if I'm, like, missing anything on the right side. Okay, so there's a path here. Another thing to blow up. Plenty of things to blow up, and I see there's nothing I really missed. I just walked over this way. Twenty mysterious shells. How mysterious. Another grass over here and get, uh, five more rupees. That's a pretty good game. Finding, uh, two five-piece rupees in, like, no time at all. And that's cool that I don't have to, uh, blow up these rocks again, at least not right now. I'm sure they'll respawn if I, like, save and restart the game. Uh, probably if I enter a dungeon or... Probably a dungeon, I don't think, like, just a normal building. I'm not sure if there's, like, a screen limit or something, how many screens you can go before overworld objects reset. Go to this little mushroom hut here. Hey, look at this kinstone piece. Have you ever seen one like this? What? You don't know what a kinstone piece is. Well, tell you what, why don't you come back and see me when you get one, okay? Yeah, I have not found one yet. I do, I think there's like one that I could have gotten by now. Which, I am able to go back for it. I don't think it's in the dungeon. Because, um, I did a quick audio check before anything else today, and I looked at my map and I made sure that I got everything in the first dungeon. Hey, I, I can mess up your day with a gust jar, man. Oh, you're asking for it. Just trying to mow the lawn, dude. Actually, I will have to mow the lawn this weekend. It's really funny. To me, it's really funny. Gosh! Okay, blow up everything in sight over there. What's this? Is this just a path back to the forest? Yeah, the Minish Woods. Okay. Da Minish. Da Woods. I love those enemies. I don't know why. I just always really enjoyed... Um... Just... Mashing the sword button to get them all. I mean, I know there's somewhere that I'm to be going. Okay, I see another bomb door here. And I do see a little hole there, but I don't... I'm not even able to swim right now, so that's not happening. Fairies! I don't even think I have a jar or container. I do not... I don't... Okay. Octoroks everywhere. Mm, some puddles. Okay, I can't get into the western wood going that way. Let's see what... 
I thought, doesn't dude say something? Oh, I have to press select. I thought it was L. So, we're supposed to meet a minish blacksmith named Malari on Mount Cornell. You know, maybe we should stop in at the town of Hyrule before leaving. I'm game. We're like right here, so... Um, I don't think I'm too far off from my predetermined path. Kitty cat. Oh, I think perhaps this is the event where I get my first kinstone piece. How about that? Come one, come all. See how many kinstone pieces you can collect. You never know what fusing kinstones will do, but it's sure to be good. Come on up and get your free kinstone bag for holding your kinstone pieces. Don't miss out on this incredible once in a lifetime opportunity. So that's why I didn't have any. I didn't even have the proper satchel or bag to hold them. Yes, yes, you're here for your free kinstone bag, aren't you? That's right. Maybe you didn't hear me, but they're free for all kids right now. And just like that, I am given a kinstone bag. But it's empty. Fitting two kinstone pieces together is called kinstone fusion. If you get two pieces to fit perfectly, great happiness will come your way. I don't know why I found that grammar, like, jarring for a second. I'll put a kinstone piece in your kinstone bag so that you can give it a try. Anyone who's ready and willing to fuse kinstones will look like I do right now. So he's telling me that they'll show the little heart thought bubble dealy by their heads. I'm, like, looking at this dude, and he just, his face kind of looks like an insect. Sir, are you an ant? Are, are you an ant? Disguised as a person? <laughs> when you see that look in their eyes, that's when you press the L button. It's, what's, what's an L button? I am a person. <laughs> and use the D-pad to select a kinstone piece and press A to try fusing it. Did you catch all of that? I certainly did. Then stand in front of me and press L so we can fuse kinstones. Yes, yes, that's it. Press the L button, then you can see the kinstone screen. The hurdy gurdy man. <laughs> and it says that the two kinstone pieces will fit perfectly. Or that they do fit perfectly, so maybe something good will happen. Okay, so it opened up that tree that had the vines in front of it in uh, South Hyrule Field. A perfect fit! That means we're both due for a little happiness. See ya! Well, I'm sure there's more to do in town. Um, I'd certainly like to check that out, because it's pretty close. Hey! Watch the rocks! Yeah, I was pretty sure it's just like south and east of here. I got my heart refilled. Should be right here. Nice. We've got a piece of a heart for that kinstone fusion, and that's pretty much mandatory. I mean, it, it is mandatory. You can't really get past it. You can absolutely proceed through the game without collecting your heart piece. If that's if that's the kind of life that you want to live, um, you're wrong and I forgive you, but... And he says there's another one of those marks. You know, no matter how many times I see that happen, it still rattles me. Me too, dude. I gotta keep my, uh, finger off that L2 button. It's just... It's, um... Kind of like an L2 trigger on, I want to say, a PS3 or a PS4 controller. It just it depresses very easily, um, so I just got to keep off of it. I am the postman, crossing town at incredible speed to bring you your mail. Cool. Um, so what am I here for? 
Mount Cornell is a forbidding and rocky place with many steep cliffs. It lies just west of Hyrule Town. We ought to equip ourselves in town before risking the journey. Okay, so clearly I'm here to obtain something. Perhaps we'll see... That's not what I wanted. What am I holding here? Only 80 rupees for a wallet. It can hold a king's ransom in rupees. Um, I don't need that right yet. And I'm pretty sure there's a better way I can get one. So what does he want me? Is it the big no? That's the same size shield that I have. Hmm. Okay, empty house. She says her brother's at school, there's a kitty cat- oh no! Okay, the cat walked away. Cat! Okay. Almost walked right back. Hey, what do you want? My sister's not here. She's at school. I don't think she is, dude. What is... I can't use the pot for anything. Are you sure? It's not like... Now? Okay. Yeah, you're being weird. I'm not hearing that. Okay, this place is not open yet. Like, half the town isn't open yet, if I'm not mistaken. Hey, that mustachioed guy strikes me as somewhat unreliable. There's something fishy about this room, too. Uh, <clears throat> I, I am Hagen, mayor of this fair town. Mayors are usually very important and busy folk, I'll have you know. But I still have a hobby, of course. I collect unusual masks. I just love them. They're beautiful. Simply magnificent, I tell you. Why is he thinking about the jar? Is there something about the jar I should know, dude? Like, I feel like I should be able to use the jar to transform into Tiny Link, but I don't know how at the moment. Oh, I got a free Kinstone piece. That's nice. Definitely can't move that giant block. That's a school teacher, and I really don't remember having to interact with her any at this point in the game. I came to check out a book, but they're not open yet. Ah, well, age brings patience, Sonny. I can wait. Okay, so what's this building here? It's, oh gosh, I need to stop playing bombs. I'm just gonna blow up the town by accident. <laughs> No, I want to read the sign. Okay, Mount Cornell is that way. Well, are you going to tell me what I need? Just because you have a sword and shield doesn't mean you'll be safe. I can't let you go out there alone. Not until you know some sword techniques. I would love to know where I can learn them. The Swiftblade School in the south end of town is really awesome. The teacher Swiftblade has an amazing direct teaching style. I wish I could train there. Well, that answered my question. There's a dog in the way. Alright. I know how to get past this. I come from a faraway land. You can tell by my clothing, can't you? Do 
You want to fuse kinstones? Sure. Let's see how well they play. They don't play at all. Okay. Interesting. So when a when a character has a thought bubble, um, it's not necessarily kinstone related, possibly. But I need to become Little Link, and I have no idea how to achieve that right this second. Either that, or just go around. That's that's a possible option. Now there's water there. There is another possible path for Little Link. You want to fuse kinstones? Sure! But, oh, no, not a match. Okay. We hear all sorts of interesting gossip in here. Stop by from time to time. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to fuse kinstones. I'm also... Man, I've definitely gotten past this part before. I don't have any milk. You can move bookcases and stuff. Okay. Oh, I see. Well, that's fine and, and all, but I'm still... Hmm. Apparently, I can push bookcases, but not old ladies. <laughs> Oh, here's the school. Okay. Ah! I am Swiftblade, finest swordsman in all of Hyrule. If you train with me, I guarantee that you will increase your skill dramatically. So, would you like to train here? We shall start with the most basic of all techniques. I shall teach you the spin attack. First, you press and hold your sword button. Second, you build up enough poor. Third, release your destructive might. That's all, young swordsman. Do you understand? I sure do. Ha ha, very good. You are a quick student, but one must feel the technique, not just hear about it. That's why I will now possess your body so as to demonstrate the technique. He really is kind of like a what, the Highlander? Is that what that guy's name was? <laughs> I call this the Swift Blade Switcheroo Technique of Training. Watch this. Switcheroo! <laughs> I, I just couldn't keep a straight face. Whew. Now, you must try it for yourself. Press and hold your sword button. Build up enough power. Then, Release your destructive might. That's all there is to it. Yes, yes. Fine work. You're a quick study. I will now give you this tiger scroll. If you ever forget this technique, you can review it with this scroll. And you may view it from any... Or you may view it any time from the quiz status screen. All right, finally got the technique that I came to town for. I didn't, like, I didn't very clearly remember any item that there was to get at this point in the game, so I was just downright confused until the guard told me what it was that I needed to do here. Oh ho so you've worn the spin attack. It's still dangerous, but maybe you can handle it. Well, let's see how you do it. Show me that spin attack. Spin attack your... Yeah, that's the one. But there are monsters out there, kid. You just make sure you're careful. Thanks. Yeah, there, there are monsters, though. He's not kidding. <laughs> Oh, 
Okay, I see something I can bomb. And I don't think I can move this block at the time being. Alright, we got a Deku scrub in a hidden room. Probably gonna offer me a shady deal. Okay, you got me. Let me make it up to you. You can have this most deluxe of all bottles for only 20. Oh, that's actually a good deal. I am surprised. And I got five rupees back already. That Octorak went for a swim. Okay, so here's the base of Mount Cornell. Uh, right, I just remembered I, I do absolutely need a bottle or I will not be able to get through this area. Another shady business Deku scrub. Okay, you got me. I'll make it up to you by telling you something good. A friend of mine in, in a cave in the south of the Trilby Highlands has a handy tool. If you want to climb Mount Crenell, I suggest you go buy it from him. A tool where? A cave south of Trilby Highlands. Oh, I, did, I just purchased that, actually. So, I am one step ahead of you. Got some water, and I'm gonna water this seed here. I just realized I'm probably gonna get rupees while climbing this mountain. Alright, so let me just quickly go buy a wallet. May as well. I'm not going to be spending rupees on anything else in the meantime. Dude should just have a bottle for sale. I mean, I know I got it from the Deku scrub, but it would be nice to have more than one. Alright. You got me. I'll, I'll pay 80 for the wallet, and that way I won't be running around with a full wallet this entire next 30 minutes or so. And after that. <laughs> Oh, I should have bought a refill on bombs while I was there. <laughs> I mean, I'm able to find bombs, but, um, yeah, it would have been a good idea. Okay, starting the climb of Mount Cornell. I can't climb these, uh, scaling walls just yet, so I'll have to just do my best to avoid boulders. And, uh, survive. Well, I can't say I'm complaining about the resolve. Um, that was 15 rupees I wouldn't have been able to pick up had I not stopped out at the shop and bought that wallet. So, already sort of paying for itself. Look. Get out of here. This is 
some great in-game music. Um, some of the best that I've heard, uh, even in the Zelda series. I know it's reminiscent of the uh, Death Mountain theme from The Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past for the Super Famicom and Super Nintendo, respectively. I don't... Hmm, it sounds... Yeah, that's, that's something I can bomb. Oh, we got some red shoes. Okay, there's a spot up here where I can um, make Link tiny. Problem, I'm out of bombs, and uh, oh, I don't need to use this ladder necessarily. I will need them to progress. I was hoping I would find some in the dust here. This back and forth is just a little bit annoying, but I'm still pretty much at the base of the mountain, right by town. I'm just gonna roll my way to the store. What? Is that dust? What's going on here? If I if I clear that up, will a salesperson show up? Possible. Oh, a boomerang. Now you have a boomerang? Dude. Ah, you're killing me, Smalls. Yeah, I'll buy the bombs, but I'm coming back for that. my way out of town. Uh, and since I'm somewhat more broke than I was just a few minutes ago, yeah, I will actually bother to cut grass and bushes along the way in an attempt to harvest rupees. This ladder. See, I got right back to where I was, so it wasn't a huge deal. Even the enemies are still cute. I always really enjoyed these animations with uh, Link becoming Tiny Link in the portals. Ah, so this perfectly normal looking stone was another portal to the Minish world. I suppose I would have remembered that if I had stopped to think about it. Hmm. Uh, I'm kidding, he's funny as hell. Trying my best not to get uh, bombarded by enemies or giant rocks over here. Like the only real difficulty with that is when I can't see the enemies. Okay, so here's where I need the green water. Ah, I don't need to fall in it, I just need to... <laughs> I need to jar some of it. And with that, I will continue my journey.
Yeah, I'm definitely glad I stopped to get bombs. I just wouldn't have been able to progress otherwise, and there's plenty to be bombing around here. Once you've pulled off their iron masks, these guys are no trouble whatsoever! <laughs> it's true, it's true. Oh! Right in the bread basket. me. Hey, my boy, jump into that vortex there. I think I've got an idea. You sure do. Ezlo? Is that his name? Ezlo? Elzo? That will get him. We won't, because I can't edit <laughs> I, I think it's Elzo. <laughs> Lots going on over here. I'm not sure what's going on with this crack here. Oh, okay, I guess I can drop into it after I become Tiny Wing. So I think for today, uh, this episode is all going to be about the journey up Mount Cornell. Um, oh, okay, I know what's going on. I don't know that I can carry that yet, but I'm about to find out. Because that does seem to take up... Um, a majority of the time I have allotted for recording today, maybe like 45 to 50 minutes. An hour at the most. So I'm definitely going to get to the top, and I'm going to save, and our next episode will absolutely be all about the next dungeon. Okay, so I see a couple of things I can explore, so I may as well, since I'm here. Okay, cool. Got a kinstone piece. I think that matches the first guy I talked to, so I'll, I'll have to review this video, and um, that'll remind me of who it was. It'll also confirm whether or not that's true. Talk to this fella here. Water is life for Cornell beans. The blue beans grow when you pour water on them, but the green beans like Cornell hot spring water. Cornell hot spring water can be found only in a spring on Mount Cornell. Well, Really, the spring is closer to the base of Mount Cornell. So that's the uh, the green water. That's the difference between the blue and the green water. I was trying to remember it, but could not without speaking to little dude over there. It's always been really funny to me that normal-sized flies become these, like, almost menacing-looking enemies when Link is tiny Link. Okay, got another kinstone piece. Oh! I really thought I had, um, 
spaced that out so that Link would not fall, but apparently I had miscalculated. <laughs> So now what I need to do is become Big Link again and pour the green Fresnel hot spring water onto the bean. The green bean. It'd be really funny if I just totally missed. <laughs> So I'm wondering, I'm thinking to myself at this exact moment, like, hmm, should I go and get more green water? Probably. I think I can just jump down to the right over here. Hey. Get out of here. Yeah, I am able to just jump down right there, even though I can't climb up. Okay. But before I do that, let's check the left here and see what I can or cannot do. Another scaling wall. Am I able to climb? Do I just not know? No. No, no. That's definitely a bomb door. It didn't select the item. Okay, well I got a piece of a heart, which is a nice, um... It's a nice pickup, but I'm still trying to figure out where I'm supposed to go. <laughs> For now, mines. Oh, okay. Well, I can't get up there. Ah, I have discovered something. Passageway. And a kinstone piece. And a hot plate. Gray choose, what do they do? Oh, they turn into spikes when they're attacked. Thank you for the, the bombs. It's definitely something I'll be needing here today. Yeah, I had a feeling that might work. Okay. So we're making progress. I have done this within a year's time. I haven't really played past that, honestly. I mean, I... I beat the second dungeon, so... I'll definitely have to be getting back to that. In my free time. Oh! I'm getting bumped all around by these nasties. Ah, another Shady Deku scrub. What? Oh, I pressed R instead of A. Okay, you got me. Let me make it up to you. This fabulous grip ring is just perfect for a young mountaineer like yourself. Climb in style for only 40 rupees. What a bargain. Well, I don't have 40 rupees, but you better believe that. I've been needing that, so I'll be back.
Yeah, I guess one of the easiest ways to obtain rupees is to simply defeat enemies. I did forget that I would have to pay for the grip ring, so that's sort of the reason I'm in this situation. Can I even hurt you with a... No. Yeah. Not if I miss. Now the game's just giving me bombs galore. I did forget that I could lift up these rocks, because in other games you usually need something like a bracelet or a glove just to pick up rocks. I know, it sounds ridiculous. is hunting for rupees. So, I mean, at least I'm almost there. I can't jump down there? Ridiculous. I just need 15 more rupees. I didn't even intentionally... <laughs> jump into the vortex. I guess that's why they give you the free 20 rupees at the very beginning, because, um, shit, there really aren't many places to get rupees in the Mount Cornell area. Oh, you bought. I know you got rupees. You. Rupees? There. There we go. Sweet rupees. Just need... Eight more. No, I don't need seashells. I need rupees. Currency, my good man. Okay, seven more. Six, five. And I'm pretty confident I can... Oh. Stupid little bug. Pretty confident I can find those five rupees near the top of the mountain also. Back up I go. So just three more. That shouldn't be a problem at all. Yeah, I'm just not even worried about these enemies. get that grip ring. So at least I will have gotten that far um, by the end of today's video. 
not there. Although I could use at least some more of a heal. Okay, so to the right then. It is amazing how fast a player can actually travel in this game, as the player character that is. It's pretty cool. I believe that this is where I want to be. Yes. Oh, I don't have to do the thing again. And now I can climb up and down these scaling walls on the cliffs. No idea what to do there right now. To guess, I'd say perhaps there is a seed or something that I need to put up there. But that I do not have at the time being, so I'm going to scale this really big wall instead. Yeah, it's always important to take little breaks while climbing big walls. And I'm not too sure what- whoa, that guy's fast! The blue, uh... I'm not sure what they are. <laughs> I'm not sure what the name of that enemy is. But the blue spider dudes! Like, WTF, mate. <clears throat> I'm not sure exactly what it is that's over here. Oh, it's a Minish guy. I do not have a matching tombstone, unfortunately. Oh, maybe he's not a Minish. Maybe it's just a regular dude. He just kind of looked like one of the Minish to me. Oh, you jerk. You other jerk. Okay, really? I was going to hit you with a rock. I mean, come on. You gotta admit, you had that coming. Oh, it's raining up here now. Things are getting serious. And this is another theme that's uh, very similar to um, music or a score that is found in Leg Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past for the Super Nintendo and Super Famicom. I gotta say, I do enjoy uh, this version a bit more. 
Oh. This place is crazy. Okay. I know that I have to push this rock somewhere and that after that I am able to use it um, to push into one of these holes and then it'll be permanently like that. Hmm. Yeah, I see the one. Oh. I was thinking that I would have to use the boulder closer to the ladder, but um, it's obvious to me that that's the boulder that uh, I'm not going to be using at all. There it is. That's the solution to the puzzle. Now I will deal with enemies. Can't trap me. Boom, baby. I keep pressing R instead of A at times that I mean to press A, and I don't know why. It's just something that I'm doing today. It's not something that I do all the time, but I'm certainly doing it today. Link, okay. The enemy got sucked into my gust jar. I didn't even know it was there, so that was actually pretty funny. And at this point I'm just trying to get to the dungeon and then save because I know that I will still be in the dungeon uh, the next time I load my game. It's a weird limitation to put on a sliding stone. Oh. Hmm. I don't know what I'm doing here yet. Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm just losing all matter function control. If it gets to an hour, like, I'm really not sure what I'm supposed to do here, but I feel like it should be obvious. So, yeah, I guess... I'm gonna call it for today. Hopefully it doesn't start me at the base of Mount Cornell. That would be really annoying. Just gonna go back to this last room where I was.
Yeah, that's definitely not the solution. Shit. So I'm gonna save and uh, try and figure this out. Everybody, thank you so much for watching. I am Doc Hikari, and again, this has been episode two of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Minish Cap for the Game Boy Advance. Everybody, stay safe, stay awesome, and have a great day. Over and out.